we are currently in Muno, our second day uh, in Muno, at the 14.45. So far, Alhamdulillah, for this year, the operation, uh, it has been um, well, uh, so far it has been uh, good or true. When compared to with uh, the age of last year, it is a substantial improvement has been made by the Saudi government as regards the, the Muno and the services. The services provided so far has been uh, uh, appalling. So our uh, pilgrims have been enjoying their stay in uh, Muno and uh, they have been uh, very cooperative and Anna Ajmo Blue has been is part of our program uh, giving lectures on a daily basis we have two lectures morning morning uh, lecture and evening lecture and alhamdulillah it's been as i've said compared to last year it has been a very 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 uh uh upgraded uh standard we hope that uh, the saudi government can at least uh, sustain this as uh, the standard of uh, Muno in the subsequent uh, Hajj uh, operations. For this year Hajj operation, even though the uh, the fee for Hajj this year is uh, twice of that uh, last year, but alhamdulillah, the number of pilgrims that came for this year uh, Hajj operation uh, is more than that of uh, last year. For we have the total of uh, 400 uh, pilgrims that came with Hajj Mabru. Even though uh, out of these 400 pilgrims, uh, and according to the study government standard this year, that uh, from Nigeria, the only ones, uh, 40 companies, they approve only 40 companies out of like uh, 300 companies in Nigeria operating Hajj uh, I mean, private operators operating private operators operating from nigeria so under ajima blue we have another company called uh, monica monica hack so from the total 400 ajima blue has um, 326 pilgrims while uh, monica has um, 74 making a total of uh, 400 first of all talking about the change and i'm the lie the change uh is uh well organized we have our they gave us the, our entire bed with these are 400 beds and then the chains and the ac is uh well working well so as far as the tent is concerned we are uh okay with the tents and apart from tent the food even though uh, what we, we, we appreciate better is the uh, Southern Nigerian meal. However, uh, as far as we are concerned, that Southern Nigerian meal has not been achieved. But so far, uh, average the, the new South is still uh, uh, okay where we compare it with uh, last year and even uh, previous uh, uh, had your patient yearly had my blue uh do organize at least two meals during the, our stay in Muno. two meals the first meal will be on our first day in uh, Muno, and the second will be our third day in, in Muno. We, for this year we we're able to achieve the first uh, uh day meal i mean the meal meaning that our local our local uh, Nigerian meal will be served. So we've been able to achieve the uh, the first day meal for our privilege. We are looking forward to the third day meal, inshallah. We are trying our best to see how we can transport the meal down to the to the tents. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the first thing, uh, the, cha the first challenge is on, on the, which has been an issue for a very long while now. Is about the meal. Uh, we hope that uh, Saudi government, in conjunction with Nigerian government, can really do so much in that regard, uh, giving our pilgrims the 
ya much uh, required local meals. So we look forward to uh, subsequent uh, hard operation for that. Can you take us? Ah, well, uh, Ajinobu has been very, very wonderful Aj operator I've ever come across. This, in fact, this is my 15 or 16 times of uh, joining them from Pygmy to Saudi Arabia. My second time for Hajj, and this is my uh, 13th time for Humrah. So, so far, so good. Their performance and their uh, word and procurement uh, and the way they handle their delegates uh, is very, very excellent. Well, so far, so good because I was not able to be here last year, but from what I got uh, of the experience of last year, I understand that this year, a uh, Hajj operation as far as the Hajj Saudi Arabia government uh, rules concerned is uh, very superb, very excellent. In Mina, we had a very good accommodation. Uh, with good bed and a well uh, conducive environment. Likewise in the uh, Harapa too. We have a very good uh, tent, good uh, uh, environmental condition. We, do, the, we have a bedded uh, apartment in uh, Mina and uh, Harapa and the good food. The service good food. Everything as far as the uh, Saudi Arabia government uh, rule in this age of people is uh, very excellent. Well, depends. Uh, if they, uh, they can try to mount on on this uh, year the uh, performance. This year is excellent. It's very excellent. So we hope they can improve it more in the next year. And the only thing we lack in have a mina here, as far as this I'm having my best over, is uh, African food. So the, we are only trying with uh, with rice bread, which is not. Uh, Good, which is not what our people like, which is what our people like as an African, particularly from Nigeria. Mabu give us all the guidelines that needed as far as this IJ uh, of is concerned. They guide us properly, they give us spiritually talk, they, 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 they give us unnecessary information that make us achieve the benefits of coming to this age. I'm following her to good for the first time. Yes. No, 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 no. I think this is almost my seventh hatch. Yes. The last time you came for hatch was when? 2015. There's a lot of improvement, a lot of development, and in fact, the the work here of uh, pilgrims have been highly improved. Like our tent, the toilets, the the sleeping area, and everything are been improved seriously. Hajmabu was recommended by a friend, and it was never a mistake. I really appreciate following Hajmabu for the first time. It is it has now shown me the unity of Islam, the unity and diversity of Islam. And as they are highly organized, they are highly sooner to the core. They, they kind of uh, uh, limit uh, uh, innovations. I really enjoy myself. I have no regret being a pilgrim with Haji Mabu. With all my experience and uh, time I've been to Hajj, this is one of my best Arifa. Uh, I do not like anything in Alpha. Alpha went smoothly. And uh, the, 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 the epic of it all is when we have our last prayer with Haji Mabu. It's something over when, something I would recommend to so many people. I've decided, inshallah, to do a lot of referrals for Haji Mabu because I'm indeed impressed. They have surprised me beyond my expectation. And well, what I'm only going to uh, advise Haji Mabu is to increase on their communication. Let them have people that will be relating to people on every, each and every step of the process as they are doing it. They are 100%. Their awareness is 100%, but they need to improve. Saudi government is like uh, the people who are taking care of Muna need to allow the local content, especially in food. People are tired of eating the same thing every day. Yes, they should engage Nigerians in Muna so that they guide them on what people want and how to run Muna very well. But they have really improved. Well, let me like uh, first thing I have to say, because when you come for hard rights, starting 
from the eighth of Zelija in Mina. In, in a lot of the things are in the hands of the Saudi Authority who organizes them each of the other things. So one thing we observe for this year is that there's a clear improvement compared to what was obtainable last year. So at Mulo year it was better. We are brought back to the usual things that we are used to. And like the new arena they tried last year which actually failed. So which is still a better option. Things were changed, like the rocks were changed, and we had very good experience there. Then the same thing at Arafa it was a clear improvement, and it avoided the issue of the sun. And the you know, we have some issues in terms of the ACs not really catching because of the crowd within the area. But there's a lot of improvements that made it much easier for people to cope and we are able to do our act of worship with a little or no stress. Well, at Nobu, we have one particular thing. The, the, our main slogan is that we want everything hospitality and spirituality. So, truly, spirituality is one thing. And that's our focus, that's our core value that we preach, that aspect of spirituality. Because coming into the large industry or business, as the people call it, it's not actually for business, it's for service. For us, because I believe it's owned by an organization, owned by individuals that propagate Islam. And we feel that when we saw that things are not being done properly, people are not being guided rightly, so about 23 years ago, we decided to come on the stage, not just by preaching and lamenting, but by coming here to demonstrate how things will be done. So we will get the fulfillment. And that's why our name is Admogu. When we are thinking of name, we didn't think of anything. We choose a name that reflected what the Prophet Islam say Ad should be. So that every time we mention that name, it reminds us of the core value, the core reason of our existence. And that is so. Let people get the right Ad. So what we do, we ensure that people are guided spiritually, they are guided knowledge-wise on what they are expected to do. And then, we always have who guides at every point in time ahead of them, taking them through all those rights. So at every point. So before we move the hour, we're in Mokka, Medina, we have lectures in Mokka, we have lectures to prepare them, both spiritually, in terms of knowledge, even operationally, giving them a of how, what are the things they should expect. But some of them who believe that we are exaggerated, some of these things. But we have to do that so that we prepare their mind for the actual rigor of age, which naturally you cannot avoid, no matter how much. And that's why I said, no money is at all for those who are capable, because there will be some rigor that will be needed. And that was all. So at Arafat, the same thing went on. We took them through the process, explained what they are supposed to do. We ensured that people supplicate, engage in the bad If you come to our church, we only see people talking, chatting. Because the scholars around have guided them on what to do. And the climax of it is that, just like the Sunnah of Islam, Islam, towards the end, towards Maghrib, they started to stand up, change the Qibla and do communication. So what we do like we we do congressionally, standing almost like on the hours, on our feet, the scholar the leads us, and all of us do. So the, the, the environment was spiritually heightened and people felt some in the high level of fulfillment. So today too we are still here and things are there. Naturally everybody the it, it, what would happen is that we brought up the share. You know we are talking about 8.9 million depending on the package it is more than that. But ordinarily initially we thought in terms of the number of people who are going to build it. But because of the value we have been given in the past, we were still able to maintain what we had. Last year, we came with 310. And this year, we insisted that despite almost doubling the fare, because people felt that at least we are going to pay much, we are still going to get that spiritual fulfillment that they want because of the guide we give them. So all in all, it's, the price was high. But I'm going to lie, we didn't really affect us in terms of 
the number of people you are able to do. Yes, that's what we do. In fact, as we speak, people are paying for their share. So you can pay bit by bit, spread it over the years, and then also are there. We had, we had that example of somebody who paid for only six years. As a elderly man, every week he would just come in there and drop his money. And after six years, in fact, at the point in time, we had to wait some money for him so that he didn't go. And I'm like, he was, he was an elderly person who could feel his heart right. So that arrangement is there. Once your phone is with us, you are sure nothing will touch it. Yes, I think what the society was trying to do was to manage the number. Because a lot of countries will come with so much time for the private operators and the streamlined. Initially, it was issue of 10 for Nigeria. Eventually, they took it to 40. So, it's a very good idea, not a good idea. So, it forced people to come together and try to collaborate and then can streamline things better. So, fortunately, we are part of the 40, but we are number one on the list. This is the rating of the Arts Commission. We are number one on the list. So we have one other agent that collaborated with us on previous are also here. So but at least it's a good idea if we can really stress it allows for collaboration rather than somebody bringing just two numbers, struggling with them, we bring it together and the experiment this year is has been quite okay. I will start from from Arch Commission, they have really done a great job at least this year. There was much more effort I've been putting. Some of the issues that were raised last year, they tried as much as possible to be there. For this time, I think they have come around to, I think they even have some presence around there. But I was, at times, you will not be seeing so much of the valleys. They have tried that. They've come around to do something. And something. So, you just think they should put in more, especially add more to the pressure on the government of Saudi Arabia. So that they can take care of some key areas that are still lacking. For example, this year people are here, tenth D. We have people in tenth A. The experience here is very bad for this year. People are being denied entry. People are and so many things they are there. So, but that one is mostly better and do the government to government so that they can put in a lot of effort in it. Yeah, for the cyber authority. We know it's not easy managing about two million people doing the same thing at the same time with that crowd, which is and the issue of introducing the food was trying to streamline things. I think they seem need to do a lot of improvement on that so that things will get better. And then the feedback that they get from the pilgrims through the art commission, we should work more on them. So that what we just like we said we have done there. This meal here is has still not really changed compared to what we used to have. And that feedback goes there. So suggestions have been going on how to advise that look, people stay somewhere for five days and trying to eat something that is different from what they are used to. Two or five days is always a very tough experience. So if they can look at that more, I think things will be better, inshallah. Ah, mountain wa koda mi ni kaboya okereju inti fe kabi mefa haja ti mura inti fe tu bi mefa ba. Belu aji ma bro. Belu aji ma bro. Yana lati 2002. Muti bere belu aji ma bro. Musi lo ko ile yo ti je bi eke ta bi eke mi. Aji to duni ti mo wa belu aji ma bro. Ofe da bi epe mi te se aji kari. Olu Golon, inu mi du ipe bi inti se mi pe ah ele iya to fun ti mo ti se si tele. Ari dani le ko lodo awon afa tu pe ye. To ye pe duan ti se wa nu ansi ni practically onzi wo wa le ibu. Bo ya yen lo mu tori mo ti se ba yin wa eh ka won members awon te ko wa ko corporate bai. Uh, more people confess, he lay you any high percentage. We at least in Mewa, the Bakua, I will be major semester to force our popular. Tell a curibe, I loom cut the jalong or so to one caca. Smoke a Louis City, Tom Fua, a Tibubo, a one tea, Tontoon, Tontoon, and Corridua, Ojekas in Capo. 
Papa, me ki muna teso, Arafat muna, then Jamra taso kwe. It was really a guided, serious guided event. In between, by the pay your general wanted in fatality, a dark and more low, a shiba yon kanka. Pay basi lo, more wa guidance, a fat to pay to monk pay. More to tell you what more look, what I want, I want handicap at a one, a bow, I want yawa to one into the pay, ubu, a colonel, one guide you one. Old Mori ni pay full password, thanks, he said. This particular one, I'm my boy. One a higher percentage. Yeah, one of the first reasons was I have a friend that came with them last year. And also another reason was when I heard about the name, I remembered the radio jingle we've been hearing quite for many years since we were very young. That is always admirable, admirable. So when I heard the name, the first thing that rang there on my ear was the radio jingle that, had been, that was on when we were young. Yeah, I've been envisaging at least looking at taking the path where the prophet walked. Like when we were going for the road, my imagination was just that. Is this also the place where the only prophet of Allah, the best of mankind, also walked on? And the feeling was, the feeling was just so much that I couldn't describe it words. It was so exciting and it was something we were just enjoying. Yeah, I, I had to keep my cool because I wanted to shout, but considering the inconveniencing others, I, I just keep keeping calm and doing alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I almost got lost of what we should first be saying when sighting the Kaaba, with just ch chanting alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Imagining myself seeing this thing that I've always been seeing or wishing to see physically for quite a very long time. Coming, seeing it as a dream come true. It's something we can't really describe. I was just shouting alhamdulillah and trying to keep calm to avoid distracting others. Okay, so then... Yeah, Alhamdulillah, for the Arafah, one of the things I loved the most was Hajj Moblu gave us a platform where they were able to explain the process, explain to us why we don't need to climb the mountain, let us know that even while on the mountain or where we are, we are okay, we are also on Mount Arafah. And they gave us lectures. They, I think they were able to make us know the right thing and the right thing to do. So the feeling on Arafah was, was quite... Unexplainable. It was, and it was even you standing there, you just assume your prayer has been answered. There is this feeling that you feel that the blessing, the rahma in that place seems quite different. And even within you, you feel at peace, you feel relaxed. That you know that everything you are going to do here, Allah is going to accept us. Message generally to Muslim across the world is that anybody that have the money to come to Hajj should not postpone it. It is a pillar of Islam. It is something we need to do in our lifetime, and it is something that we need to look, keep looking forward to. We don't need to delay it to adult to when you are too old, because the younger the, you are, the better the chances of doing it perfectly. So, and to add more blue, I think they are doing very well. They, are, they just need to, yes, they have some little things here and there, but they've done a fantastic process for us, and personally, I think I'm very okay with their processes, except for a little glitches, anyway. But it's fantastic, it's good, it's a dream come true, and they made the process good for us. You know, so coming with the experience for Umura, I know not to expect, you know, the same, the same level of work, because that's that's a easy, easy breezy kind of thing. But with, with people that have, you know, that I that I know that have been to Hajj, when they come, they give so many horror stories. So I'm 57, and so when time came close to come, I was so terrified. I almost don't want to come, but you know, I've already prepared. So I just kept telling Allah, please make it easy for me. But getting here has been, Allah has been gracious, has been smooth. And even way less stressful than I thought it would be. Okay. Cried. So emotional for me. Very, very emotional. The Arafat, the 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 sergeant, the Kaaba, even though it's not my first time, I still cry. Mm -hmm. I still cry. Especially when I'm praying. Because you there, right there, you know, where you need to be. The yes, it's very, very emotional. Doing it's it. like uh, it's like a pregnant woman. When you are in labor, you say, Oh, I will never do this again. You get me? But as soon as you're done, you want to do it again because it's a beautiful experience. Okay. Even though with all the pain and the highs and lows of it, you still want to come back. 
if we um, if if God allows me, I'll be back next year again. Okay. Yes, I will give them a nine out of ten. Uh, I was revived by one of the the clients last year, who is my you know little brother. Uh, last year my husband came with Arch Bobo, so from the experience, so I think that's why. And my mother only was around also last year. I think mainly the food. But I don't have to cook. I don't have to bring my pots. I don't have to bring any extra meal. Just snacks. So I think that's part of it. And for the fact that I know that when I go with Arch Robu and I leave my Arch right, I would perform them according to Shino. So that's it. How the stampede will happen when I'm doing the tower. But I'm doing like, there wasn't a stampede. But the... The feeling is that I'm actually in the so-called Mecca, this is the Kaaba. wasn't the same thing as how it was when you look at the TV or oh, something big, but you being there, it's more like a, a feeling you can't actually express. It's more speechless, speechlessness for me. Because when I got there, I was like, oh, okay, is this the, the only land? I'm actually facing the Kaaba and I'm like, speechless, and I can't, well, like, so because I couldn't get myself because I was still more, not in the trance, but I'm still trying to process where I am, if I'm actually where it is, and is it my reaction, the same way I actually wanted to feel it, but I am the last. I didn't get that conscious, not on that side, it's the old tower, but it's more in the life. I am actually in the That's the thing I had. So from what I heard from Arab this year, last year, there were the cushions, which my husband never had, and was really pushing him, so but I'm the night that in Ajma we were told not to go outside and not to go and start looking for one rock or mountain that doesn't exist. And even you being underneath the tent, you can still feel the appreciating sun and at the same time you bring the remembrance of Allah. I think that is something really good. Even though we had pushing buds, we advised that since here it's for Ibadah and you don't want to feel too sleepy and comfortable, we asked to actually take away all the cushions to feel more comfortable and be in the spirit and the mood of the members of Allah. Well, SubhanAllah, we went to Medina first. Oh, like Medina, Medina, Medina. I'm doing like. Uh, what would I say? But what we know, Medina is much more altered from the story of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Medina is a place of diseases and sickness, and that's why the Rasul actually prayed. Even though it's hot, everybody still preferred Medina to Mecca. And when my husband told me last year that, oh, it's so hot, Medina, I was like, okay, so when you prefer, of course, Medina, I was like, why would you prefer a place that is hot? And I have experienced it. I will always take Medina, only chance to take a Mecca. The, the, the drama is there in all application. The fullness is there. I don't know if it's just the fact that I'm psychologically feeling that I'm where the prophet was, where he took the refuge, when he was especially from Mecca. So I think that, that mindset was really nice. And I would still want to go back to Medina any day, any time. Maybe I don't really see much. Though it's, it's not uh, normal work that I'm so really useful, but being in fact I'm like an active person, I don't have issues with it, but you know when people are there, you have to keep stopping, then you have issues working forward. But I think it's a good experience for you to know what the people in the early days felt when working in the strive of the Sunnah and the Deen. It's a good experience. And I think we are more psychologically now, we're going for the second one, how it's going to be like.